Okay, so I've got a little bit of a problem with the Defender. Um, I noticed a couple of spots of oil on the floor under the front wheel um, after the, over the last few days. Um, and I've come in this morning and it's a bit more than just a few spots. So I've just had a look underneath it. As you can see, I've already started taking it apart. And the bloody axle split. Um, now there was a recall on these some years ago uh, for this very problem. And what they did, instead of uh, replacing the axles, they put one of these on on each side and that bolts up under there and that just holds the end of the axle so if it splits it doesn't actually drop off which is exactly what's happened it's split and it's luckily this has held it on there um, and now I've taken the wheel off and taken it all off um, the split has closed up let me see if I can show you it but it's definitely split quite a long way around now I don't know if this will focus enough to see it's gone from there where my finger is right the way down there all the way under and halfway up the other side so I've got it off cleaned it up best I can I'm going to try and weld it up so let's see what happens oh bugger don't bang your head getting up so you can see it's where well, it's been spraying out so I don't quite know how long that's been doing it that badly so say it wasn't it can't have been a lot a long time because there was only a few spots for the last couple of days and it was only this morning I noticed it so hey ho another problem let's see what we can do Thank you. 
vacuum down this last little bit. <laughs> Oh. Don't get old, boys and girls. It's a bastard. Put a little bit more underneath because where the oil was, I think it's caused a bit of a blow hole. Yeah, I'm just going to go over that bit again, I think, just to make sure. Belt and braces. I'm sorry about that. Oh. Let's see if I've got a short. Oh, ah. Oh, Shit all bust. Oh. Just for the sake of it. And that's got it. So, oh. we'll have a bit of a clear up and then I'll show you. Oh, hopefully. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can see it. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know how well this is going to focus. I've done it there, right over the top. top and down so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna put it all back together and hopefully it won't be weighing on my driveway anymore so let's put it back together okay so I put the shield back on or the whatever it is that's they call it that's you can see how it holds literally just cups the the uh, axle 
at the end there and bolts onto the what's it there so but, <laughs> it's a good job it was there in a way because that would have come off because it was <sighs> I can't get my light on it properly. It was a real, it was really wide open. And as soon as I took the wheel off, it closed up. So it was obviously a lot of pressure on there. So good old Land Rover. They don't replace the axle, but they do put something on there that sort of worked. Anyway, let's get the wheel back on. And uh, hopefully we'll be tickety-boo. Right, we've got our back together. And so hopefully now, I haven't taken her on a road test yet. I've topped up the axle oil, took about half a litre. Hopefully that stain under there, which actually that's a lot of the stuff I used to clean it up with. That wasn't all oil. But hopefully that won't be there anymore. And this is the stuff I used to clean it all off. Bloody godsend. Brilliant stuff. 